Riverside's Tyler Clary nearly made the U.S. Olympic swim team back in 2008. The biggest thing for me as far as you know, finally making the Olympic team was that I almost did it four years ago. I mean, I was third in the tuner backstroke and fourth in the 4 nine last last time around, and I was 19. So to have that be my motivation for so long and then finally achieve it is is like an unimaginable feeling. Fast forward four years and Clary is headed to the London Games in a pair of events, the 200 meter butterfly and the 200 meter backstroke. Clary's biggest competition may come from his own team, fellow American swimmers Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte. I've been telling myself for the last two or three years that yes, it's going to be great to make the Olympic team and yes, that's my goal, but I don't want to be like lots of other people that just go and make the Olympic team and then don't do anything in the Olympics. I want to make my make the Olympic team and make my mark at the Olympic Games. The press enterprise caught up with the former Riverside Poly star while training for the Summer Olympics at the Janet Evans Swim Complex in Fullerton. Standing next to me, Riverside Poly product, and more importantly, London-bound Olympic swimmer Tyler Clary. And Tyler, congratulations on reaching the Olympics in a pair of events. Uh, what were your thoughts when you qualified in that first one and you knew you were going to London this summer? Oh, I mean, it was complete elation, especially after the start of the meet. I mean, I had I had a fever all weekend, and it really took a toll on me, especially in the 400 IM. I was expecting to be a lot faster than that. I was expecting to make the team in that event. So that was kind of rough at the start, but the outpouring of support from everybody around me, especially through social media, really helped me get my head back on straight and get my mindset in the right place, and it really helped out. And I got back and had a day off had a morning to kind of have an easy swim in the tuner fly and then just came back and got it done in the tuner fly in the final the next day. So by the time you got to the finals of the 200 butterfly, what, did you still have the fever? I mean, how were you feeling at that at that point? Well, uh, the, actually the day after, no, I'm sorry, the day of the prelims, I had finished up my course of antibiotics. Um, I was starting to feel more and more like myself on deck and that, that day at finals or at the semifinals, excuse me, one of my one of my coaches had said that I was finally starting to look like myself on deck, like the little like the little kid on deck yeah. that he always knew. So that was a good sign. And then I got the next morning off because I wasn't swimming any prelims. And then, like I said, the the finals just came together. Excellent. So and you also qualified in the 200 back. Going to London, you've got two events. Is there one that you're going to focus on, and do you feel like you have a better chance in, or do you just want to do your, the best you can in, in both of those events? Well, both events are going to receive all of my focus. I mean, you can't you can't go to the Olympics and just say ah, I don't really want to worry about the event. You're you're there representing your country, and the the country deserves a, a full a full focus swim. But that being said, as far as medals go, I would I'm going to have to fight a lot more to medal in the tuner fly than I would in the tuner back. I've got a lot better shot at meddling in the tuner backstroke. Is it fair to say maybe your biggest competition comes from your own country? Uh, you know, obviously there's some other big names in the pool uh, from the uh, United States. I mean, how would you size up your competition, including those here uh, swimming for the red, white, and blue? Well, I mean, both of the events I'm in, the the are world champ. I mean, they, they're both world champs yeah. in that event last summer. Tuner fly, Michael Phelps won the tuner won the tuner fly. Last summer, my, Ryan Lochte won the tuner backstroke. I mean, they're they're both very, very good swimmers, obviously. So it's easy to say that my top competition comes from my own country, which is really cool to say. I mean, not a lot of countries can say that. The United States is so strong in swimming that it's really cool to be a part of everything. Now, I saw a video when you were describing how you felt after you qualified in the uh, 200 fly. You said it was like a caffeine rush, I think, uh, times 10 or something like that. Are you coming down from that rush and kind of getting your head straight, you know, as you prepare for the Olympics? Or are you still kind of riding that high after, you know, qualifying for the team? I mean, the last last week and a half has been absolutely crazy. I mean, between, you know, going from, going from being a hopeful to everybody, you know, kind of like, oh, I, I think I recognize that guy, to now people knowing who I am and, you know, I'm, I've got that title that no one can ever take away from me. It's the United States Olympian. It's it's pretty crazy. And coming back and people are constantly trying to get a hold of me. It's it's nuts. It's really cool. It's a great feeling, but it's nuts. And it's it's made the last probably a couple of days while I've been home really uh, really go by quickly. And I'm I'm excited to see how much more exaggerated that effect gets once we go over to London and do our thing. So it's fair to say a, uh, a good problem to have and a, a dream come true for you, I would assume? Absolutely. All right, Tyler Clary going to London in a pair of events. I'm Pep Fernandez for the Press Enterprise and PE.com in Fullerton.